Hey Kent, just wanted to give you an idea of the approach of the house. Coming into the front door. Immediately have the dining room here. Off of the kitchen. This is kind of a nice wide open feel coming from the front door. There is a side door as well off the garage. So the kitchen is nice and open, kind of right in the middle of the home. It's back towards the dining area up front. Cooktop. Kind of an older wood cabinet, but those could probably be, they're in great shape, but if you wanted to do something with them, you could probably actually just have them painted and put some new hardware on and they'd look a lot more modern. The floors are wood look tile. They're done nicely. Here's your nice big living room with the vaulted ceiling. And then what they're using is a playroom over to the side, which could be maybe a cool kind of bar setup, pool table, something like that, or even just your office space in there. Then you've got this nice outdoor patio. So it's screened in. Those are just screens there. And then door out to the backyard. So it's kind of a mulch that they've put over the whole backyard. So if you wanted to, you could put sod back down or just keep it as is with the kind of zero maintenance landscaping. There's multiple French doors here, which are nice. Looks like recent paint. So again, coming back into the living room. Nice and open throughout. Then you've got a spit, split bedroom floor plan. So coming over here, this would be the guest wing. So you've got a bedroom up front. Nice size. They don't have much furniture in there, but there's definitely room for more. Second bedroom. Also a decent size, a little bit more long than wide. Guest bathroom has an older sink, uh, kind of older vanity, older floor tile, but pretty good shape. Shower. And then coming back through over to the master. So you've got the master bedroom. So they've got kind of a small little linen closet over there. This actually could be built to be a nice big huge closet, although you've got the window there, so that would take up a little bit of the space. And then master bathroom. So lots of counter space, dual sinks. This is definitely a newer addition, a nice newer look on the cabinetry and the granite countertops. And then big shower. So the real kind of problem, if you will, with the master, is the lack of closet. Um, and you could keep the barn door if that's something that you like or put on a regular door. But again, you might be able to actually build a closet here off to the side. This leads out to the garage access. So it's one car garage. It's The garage door itself is not very tall, even though the garage might allow for your vehicle. I'm not sure if that garage door would be tall enough but they've got the AC system up there. 
Looks like a newer system and we can confirm that and then you do have extra storage. And this of course, extra storage along the sides and laundry there. So this is just side yard. And here's the back. So obviously there's plenty of room to park and you could always put a gate back here if you wanted extra privacy. Uh, that's the approach for the garage. And then there's a gate over to the backyard. So that's the house. Um, let us know what you think. And if you want to put in an offer, we'll need to do that. One thing to note is some of the windows are older. So that might be an expense to think about coming up at some point in the future, but your inspection would tell you if um, everything's in proper working order. And at that point, you could always work to try and reduce the purchase price based on the cost of some new windows if they're necessary. The ones in the front look newer, so um, you may not have to do all of them. All right, let us know what you think.